Streaming from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 4 p.m. Digital Edition. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for 22 News at 4. I'm Nick Oresco. Your top four stories at 4 coming up in just a bit. But first, let's talk some weather and traffic with meteorologist Brian Lapis. A lot quieter than this time yesterday. Yeah, thankfully. It's yeah. been nice. And it looks like uh, for the rest of the week and into the weekend, we're going to see this occasionally cloudy, well, mostly cloudy and occasionally damp weather. Uh, so for the most part, today has been a dry day. Let's take a look at the traffic and then we'll get to weather in a second. Here we go. Uh, quick look here at our Mass 511 traffic map. I just checked in with Mass DOT and the Mass State Police. No major problems on any of our main highways here. Mass Pike from Blanford to Palmer is looking good. Up and down I-91, also running normally. 391, 291 in good shape. You know, the usual slowdowns uh, for mid afternoon in our uh, local uh, urban area. So, uh, nothing that should um, inconvenience you as a, you know, be a surprise inconvenience in terms of traffic. Let's take a look at weather now. You can see temperatures as expected are in the mid to upper 60s. We're up to 70 now in Greenfield, interestingly enough. 68 Westfield, 64 in Orange. And as I mentioned, we've had clouds with a little bit of filter sunshine. If you look closely here, you can see there are a few sprinkles off to our west. We are expecting some rain overnight tonight, but the evening hours will be dry with temperatures in the 50s and 60s and moving forward. Most of the daylight hours, even through the weekend, most are going to be dry. We'll let you know when we might run into a few showers with our 22 News Storm Team forecast. The man who was convicted of killing his five year old daughter was sentenced today to 45 years to life in prison. Adam Montgomery was convicted earlier this year of second degree murder in the death of his daughter, Harmony. Police believe she was killed nearly two years before she was reported missing in 2021. Her body has never been found. The prosecution offered a decreased prison sentence. If he could provide the location of her body, he refused that offer. Testimony was heard today from Harmony's biological mother, her foster parents, and the fathers of her half-brother. Judge Burchard is totally conflicted, like probably no judge has ever been conflicted before. Stormy Daniels was back on the witness stand for more cross-examination today in former President Donald Trump's hush money trial. Before entering the courtroom today, Trump said his legal team asked the appeals court to rule on their challenge to a gag order, which restricts what Trump can say about witnesses in this trial. The adult film star testified Tuesday that she had a sexual encounter with Trump in 2006 and agreed to a deal to keep quiet about quiet about it during his 2016 campaign. Trump denies any wrongdoing. Springfield police have announced that Deputy Chief R Rupert Daniel is retiring. Daniel has a long distinguished career in the Springfield Department as well as the United States Army. He became a Springfield police officer in 1986 and has served the city for more than 37 years. We will hear from Deputy Chief Daniel on his retirement tonight on 22 News starting at 5. All right, so let's bring back in meteorologist Brian Lapis. Yeah, not an overall bad day today. No, we ended up with a little bit of sunshine. Temperatures were, we were, were where we expected. And as we head into the evening hours, I expect that we'll stay dry as well. Let's take a look. 22 New Storm Team Skycast. So variable clouds during the evening hours. We'll start at 5 o'clock here. You can see uh, we're dry through 8 o'clock. And then we go into the overnight hours and a little round of rain uh, comes in. We've got a weak storm system to our south that's going to spread some rain in here after midnight. Midnight to about 7 o'clock tomorrow morning uh, are our best chances for a period of light rain or some showers and drizzle. And then most of the day here tomorrow is dry. It still could get a little bit of rain that uh, kind of brushes the lower pine in your valley here tomorrow. It's a mostly cloudy day, so we'll call it the chance for a spot shower. It's going to be cooler here tomorrow with a breeze from the east. High temperatures in the mid 50s to 60 degrees, and we continue that relatively cool air into the weekend. We'll talk more about the weekend's weather, including Mother's Day on TV on 22 News at 5. TikTok has announced that it's going to start labeling content that is made by AI when it's uploaded from outside its own platform. 
The company says its efforts are an attempt to combat misinformation from being spread on its social media app. They will be teaming up with a company to detect what is AI by using their content credentials technology. The use of this new technology will start today on images and videos, but will be coming soon for audio. Four African penguin chicks hatched at the New England Aquarium. Two hatched near the end of March and the other two hatched last month. The staff plans to introduce each chick to other adult penguins in the colony as part of the acclimation process. The aquarium hopes that the first chick will be ready to go into the exhibit for the public to see by early June. Now for a look at what we're working on for 22 News starting at 5. I know Brian Lapp has loved that chick story. Mm -hmm. Legal delegations continue at UMass Amherst after 70 students were arrested Tuesday. Why students are calling a no confidence vote against the chancellor. And we'll take you and take a look at the controversy behind the Springfield superintendent finalists. Find out if the committee plans to start the process all over again. Plus Eversource is giving back to their customers through the Energy Saving Trees pilot project. Quick look at traffic once again. Most of our area highways are running just fine. I've noticed that there's a fresh backup here. I-291, I-91 interchange that occasionally will happen. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. And uh, a little bit of a backup there on I-91 heading into downtown Springfield uh, at that merge as well. But no surprises as we head into the evening commute. We'll track weather as we head into the weekend with the 22 News Storm Team forecast on 22 News at 5. All right, Brian, thank you. And thank you for joining us this afternoon for 22 News at 4. Join us on TV, as Brian mentioned, starting at 5 o'clock tonight. You can get your local news and weather updates anytime on our website and on the 22 News app.